Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this edition of Practical PowerPoint Tips series, you will learn the third of the three-part series of PowerPoint Bezier Curves tricks. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to create these beautiful designer tree icons. If you observe closely, the real beauty of this organic looking tree icon comes from these shapes, the way in which this tree shape is built. And if you break down the previous, the tree shape here, it is made of various components and all these components are nothing but copies of one component. All we have done is we have drawn this component, made copies, resized them, rotated them, flipped them and arranged them one on top of the other to create this beautiful tree so you are able to come up with this awesome tree icons. And let me show you how to create this simple branch kind of a shape um, using freeform tool. Let us go to a new slide and let us go to auto shapes menu and under lines you will find this simple tool called freeform tool. I'm going to click on that one. Now I'm going to draw a shape in a fairly freehand style. So let me click here, click here, click here, click here, click here, click here, click here. There is no set way in which you need to draw these. All I make sure is that the thickness of the branch keeps increasing progressively as I move through, um, move from the tip to the starting point. So that is all I take care. So now I have done this. Now this looks a little too rigid because we have got very sharp points in all these uh, corners. So we are going to smoothen them out. So I go to right click and go to edit points. If you are using 2007 version, you might use uh, first, you might convert this to free form going by going to format, convert to free form and then you can access edit points option by going to right click and edit points option. In 2010 and 2013, you can access edit points by clicking, by right clicking on any shape. So that is what I have done here. Now I'm going to, but after clicking on edit point, I'm going to change these points to smooth points. So I'm going to right click on this one and go to smooth point. Right click on this and smooth point. Unfortunately, there is no short way or quick way to uh, do this. Otherwise, I would have shown you that. And we are converting just about every single point here into smooth point that gives a very organic look and feel to the branch here and we are also going to make some adjustments with the Bezier curves once we finish uh, doing this one. Now if you can see here this one looks a little odd so I'm going to make a little more of a curve like this one maybe I can make some change here so do whatever change that you think is required. If you want to increase the thickness at some places, you can do that. Totally, it is in your hands as to what you really want to do. Now we have got one shape ready. Now I'm going to make a copy of this one by going to Control C and Control V. This one, I'm going to resize by holding the shift button and pulling in one of the corners. And I'm going to choose Arrange, Rotate and Flip Horizontal option. And I'm going to rotate this slightly using the rotate rotation handle here. And I'm going to place it somewhere here. Maybe I need to resize it slightly so that this one doesn't really show off. Even if it, even if it does, it doesn't really matter. You can either adjust this with the angle or where you want to place this. It's completely in your hands. Just go, um, be very, very casual and try and make as many copies as possible and try to play with the various options. Now here I've got this one. I'm going to 
resize this even further. So I'm going to shrink it down and I'm going to place this copy somewhere maybe here. This looks beautiful. Now I'm going to make a copy of this. The way I am making the copy is I'm holding the control button and I'm dragging the shape to its new location. So that creates a copy. Let me resize this a little more and maybe I can keep it here and resize it even further. And let me keep it here. Now this I'm going to flip vertical. This is the shortcut for flip vertical. You can go to flip vertical by going to arrange, rotate and flip vertical, uh, sorry, flip horizontal option here or flip vertical option here. I have done all those uh, shortcuts here in the quick access toolbar. So that is the reason why I'm able to do it fairly fast. Now with this done, I'm going to take this and this shape, press control G to group and I'm going to make a duplicate by pressing control D and I'm going to take this and I'm going to increase the size of this, rotate this and place it somewhere here and take a copy, reduce the size, flip horizontal, maybe place it here. Maybe you can even place it here so it looks a little different in the various places. Once again, flip vertical, flip horizontal, do whatever that you think uh, you want to do to make the tree shape look as beautiful as possible. Just keep rotating, keep trying different options. And once this is done, let me, let me do it here. Sometimes you may want to take this and take this and this, the whole thing, make a group, control C, control V, so you make a copy and then you can make the whole thing pasted in a new area. You can take this whole thing, make it very small and make it as the end point of another branch here. You basically get the idea of what I'm trying to do here as you observe um, the points. And that is as much I'm going to stick with this much detail. So this looks good. Now with all this done, I'm going to select everything together. Right click, go to group, ungroup. Once again, select everything. Right click, go to group, ungroup. You keep doing this till the time you don't see any more possibilities of ungrouping as you can see here. So this looks beautiful. Now with all this done, either you can group them all together or another option is to go to format merge shapes and you can use this union shape option. I'm going to use that. You can use this union shape option in 2010 and 2013 and this looks beautiful to me. I can go to shape outline, remove outline, change the shape fill to say slightly gray color and this looks beautiful in the way it looks. Now I'm going to make slight change in the angle so it looks a lot more grounded. Now with this done, I can choose to add ovals. So let me go to Auto Shapes menu, pick up this oval tool and I'm going to draw some random oval ovals on top of this uh, shape. Make sure that you alter, the vary the sizes of these uh, various ovals too because these ovals are going to represent the shape, the foliage for our trees. And maybe one small bit here. We can keep it like this. So this looks beautiful. Now I'm going to select all these. Go to shape fill. Go to this light green color. Maybe this got left out. So do the same thing for this. And you can remove the outline for all of these if you choose to right click and send to back. Let us do the same thing for this one as well. Send to back and that's it. You have a beautiful tree icon created. Now what I have done is just one example. You can make your own variations. You can have this flipped horizontally. So you have a different type of 
um, tree shown. You can make a whole thing, a copy of this whole thing and use that as a branch so you can really build a huge tree. What you can come up with is purely dependent on your creativity. But you got the basic idea of how to build organic tree icons using simple freeform tool and Bezier curves in PowerPoint. Trees are used quite extensively in business presentations as metaphors for business growth. I wish to show you some example templates where we have used the metaphor of trees in PowerPoint. And you can see here, we've shown stages of growth or change of an organization. Stage 1 details and stage 2 details and stage 3 details, how this organization has grown over a period of time. And here we talk about green ideas. If you observe here, we have taken the photo of the real foliage and then stuck it on top of the shapes that we have created here to show that this is a bulb which is uh, where the foliage is the new idea. And here we have created different type of uh, tree and we talk about the various factors that support the growth of the tree. Here the tree uh, that you see here is a representation of an organization and here the various factors that have contributed to the growth of this organization are shown. And here we show growth in divisions. Here you see one division earlier and now the tree has grown with multiple divisions. So those are the ways in which you can use the metaphor of tree and you can create your own icons by using freeform tool. If you're a busy business presenter who doesn't have the time to create such professional looking graphics for yourself, you can always take a look at off the shelf solutions like our PowerPoint CEO packs volume one and two. The two CEO packs have more than 1600 fully editable charts and graphics for CEOs and busy business presenters like you. Just choose the template that matches your thought and replace the sample text with your own text and your business slides get ready in no time. Creating professional quality business slides has never been easier. Hope you liked our tutorial on creating tree icon using Bezier curves in PowerPoint. To learn articles that improve your presentation skills and PowerPoint skills or if you want to watch more videos like the one that you've just seen, you can always visit us at presentationprocess.com. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Happy presenting.